Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have 10 beauty products under 10 euro that you're gonna to want to check out. If like me, you're on a spending ban, again, I know, I have to stop spending money. The thing is, I keep seeing things that I love and it just so happens that the things I'm seeing that I love right now are expensive. Expensive makeup. We'll go into that another time. Like I have to, like I'm proper, proper spending ban. God. <laughs> I don't need the Huda Beauty Foundation, sure I don't. Anyway, if like me, you still want to treat yourself, but don't want to spend as much money treating yourself, then let's dig into like the 10 beauty products that are deadly, that I think are deadly anyway. Okay, let's. First up, I'm holding very awkwardly these four um, highlighters from Pennies. Very awkward. Um, they're 350 each, as I said, they come in four shades and they are gorgeous. Oh, I haven't seen that many people talking about them and I'm like, seriously, they're beautiful. Um, this is what they look like on the inside. Hang on, I don't want the lights to wash them out. Oh, this shade is Peachin. This shade is, this one is Mink Pink. And like, look at the texture on the compact themselves. Oh, they're beautiful. So this is Go Digger and this is Brunch Club. And I would say that this is the one that I wear the most. This one, Brunch Club and Mink Pink. They're the most kind of daytime appropriate of the two here. Beautiful. And what I like to do is I'll get a brush like this. This is the Real Techniques setting brush and just go and then go. Oh, I already have a highlighter on, but let's just put a bit more on. Hold on, I'm trying to see what I'm doing. And then what you can do is if you apply it like so and then wet your brush either with like a thermal water spray or a setting spray, if you like that metallic sheen on your face, you know like Nikki Tutorials, she is mad for the highlighter. Um, Jen, to Dolly Jen, if you haven't tried these, you need to try them. Um, oh God, you're going to be to me from space. They're only 350 though, such good value. The only thing that I would like, because I'm being picky, is if they had a mirror on the top here because... Um, I kind of have to like hold this mirror like so when I'm doing my bits. Let me see. Oh, I have like a lot of highlighter on now. Like a lot. Hold on. Uh. Yeah, no, I look like an absolute lunatic. But if you like your really super shiny highlighters, you're going to love these. Sorry, I got distracted there. Applying all the makeup and then going, oh. Um, yeah, I would love if it had a mirror, but then if it had a mirror, it would be a bit more expensive than 350. Um, but they are gorgeous. They're gonna last me for ages because I just keep going between the four. And like over Christmas, you know the way you do like to shine bright like a diamond. Stop going. The cardboard packaging probably isn't gonna be very durable, but sure. 350. What are you gonna do? Continuing on with pennies. Last month I did a collaboration with them where I was trying out different skincare and that collaboration's over, but I still wanted to talk about a couple of products that I just wanted to highlight. So this isn't part of the collab. Hashtag not spawn. Hashtag love them. Hashtag who has not tried Penny's masks? Do you remember back in the day? Well, not like this still happens now. When you go into Penny's just for a look and you come out with like socks and underwear and just random things. This is the new underwear for me. No, that sounded weird. <laughs> I meant that when I go in for a look, I end up coming out with some kind of skin mask, face mask, eye mask, whatever. Um, just cause like they're 150. This is one of my favorite. This is the hydrating avocado sheet mask. So nice. And there's like loads of juice in it. Now it does slide down your neck if you're like sitting up like this and put them on. And then I also love the cucumber eye pads and I love the vitamin E eye patches as well. So lovely. And what I like to do is, especially with these two, keep them in the fridge and if you want to like just relax the cacks, like sometimes you just do want to just relax the cacks, stick a couple of them on, stick that on, happy days. And what I like about these as well is like I'm always on the phone, I'm always scrolling through, looking at the Instagram, then Facebook, then Snapchat, then Insta stories, and then I repeat the process again. Whereas with something like this, like you just get to lie down, relax, just unwind for 15, 20 minutes, and then you can just like go about your life going, I oh, feel great, my skin looks great, I feel great, I just am great. <laughs> do you know what I mean though? Like sometimes you just need those few minutes just to go, oh God, relax. Um, and whatever juice is left over, like let's say you put your mask on, if there's any juice left over, put it on your hands, on your cuticles, down your neck, up your arms, whatever you have to do, just use all the juice. Mask juice is great. And then another revelation that I discovered was this. This is the Brightening Hot Cloth Cleanser from Pennies. Now, even though it says a hot cloth cleanser, it doesn't actually come with a cloth so that you can do the hot cloth cleansing. 
Now in fairness, I do have 11,000 face cloths and cleanse off mitts and muslin cloths all around the place, so it doesn't bother me that much. Um, but what this is, is, but what this is, is it does something that smells lovely and I know that we shouldn't be worried about smells but I do enjoy a nice smelling product. And um, This has cocoa butter, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil and vitamin E and it's a really thick cleanser. And what I like to do is, I'll be using micellar water to take off my eye makeup because I don't use this on my eyeballs, so I have very sensitive eyeballs. So take off that and then I will wet my skin and then I'll massage this into my skin and it helps remove all of my makeup. And sometimes if I'm feeling very fancy, I'll go in again with this cleanser again or a different one, whatever, um, to properly cleanse skin. So the first cleanse is to take off the makeup and then the second cleanse is to cleanse the actual skin. And my skin feels lovely and soft and nourished whenever I use this, like this. <laughs> I know, it just feels really rich and unctuous and so far beyond, I think it's either six or seven euro. Um, and this is my second one, I already finished off one, love this. I have an oily T-zone and it doesn't um, make my skin produce any extra oil, it doesn't dry or strip off my skin, loving that. And I know this is a bit random, but I just love this hand cream. <laughs> this is the Mixer Restoring Hand Cream. Um, I think there's either two or three variations of this. And let me just, I have to just smell it. Because I tried to describe the scent, so it, like it's a little pink um, kind of gel consistency, but it feels almost silicone-y. It reminds me of something. Like there's something very nostalgic about the scent. Like I don't know if it smells like the Johnson's pink lotion. Is that still? Am I making that up? There's just something that I don't know. It reminds me of. And this is really fast absorbing. So what I like to do is I have it here in the evening on my desk when I'm doing my computer work. I just go like this, and then I get to type like this, and just wait for a couple of minutes for it to sink in. My mom is mad into her hand cream, so um, when I told her, I was like, "This is like, I think it's five fifty or something like that." She's like, "Oh yeah, no, you can have that." And so she kept the fancier ones. I reckon win because this is brilliant. Love it. That is for very dry hands. I don't have very dry hands, but I have dry hands. I must actually bring that into work because I have to like wash my hands like an awful lot of work. Hmm. Anyway, it's completely absorbed in now and it doesn't leave your skin feeling like there's like a layer on top. It feels that like my skin has absorbed, my hands have been absorbed. So that's very enjoyable. Let's do a bit of makeup, shall we? Now, it's a mug of things. So these are the Sleek Eye Art Precision, what are they called? Liquid Eye Colours. Hold on. Woman. I'm going to do a cutaway showing all the colours, but there they are. <laughs> Wait, no. So there are 12 shades all together and I'll just pick up one. This is the shade Purism and it's like an olive green shade. And the applicator just looks like one of those little eyeliner applicators. Probably going to wash it out now. So you can either apply it thinly with this as eyeliner. That's how you apply eyeliner in case you're one drink. Or look, you can smush it, that's the official term, as a wash of colour all over the eyelids. Been using kind of the more neutral, these ones. <laughs> so I've been using the more neutral everyday shades and they are gorgeous. Now I have oily eyelids so I have to prime my eyes every single day, every time I use like any kind of eye makeup. It doesn't matter if it's cheap or expensive, it doesn't matter. Once I prime my eyes and I apply this on, they do not budge. They don't crease, they don't flake, they don't smudge, they don't do nothing. So good. Um, which one is my, this one is my favourite, where is this my favourite one? This one. This is Modernism. I'm going to do a blog post or if I'm going to, I'm so pot. Hi, I'm going to do a blog post or a video showing these in more detail because I just think that they need to just like have a lot of love because they're fantastic. And wait, you see. Look at this one. Okay, I'm going to show you this one. It is the shade Neo Pop, and it is fantastic. So what I would do with this is not apply it all over the eyelid because I am old. But what I would do is I would use one of the more neutral ones, apply them all over the eyelid, and then apply this under the lower lash line. Pop a color. Everybody always asks me where I got this mug um, and I got it in Belfast a couple of years ago. I've never actually drank tea or coffee out of it. I just put makeup in it. So cute. I got it in um, BHS or CNA. Something with letters, I can't remember. 
Next up are these. These are the Note Cosmetic Eyeshadow Pencils. They're fab. This is my favourite shade and I have to like try not to say, use the accent. Pearl Beige. Uh, every time I say it, I want to go Pearl, Pearl Beige. No, Felice Jordan, she's fab. And um, yeah, so I love that shade and then I also love the shade Mink. What these are, they're just like regular eyeshadow crayons. Good look, that's moody. Again, in the morning, see I don't give myself enough of time to do eye makeup. So something like this, what I do is I apply my bronzer into the crease, apply these all over the eyelid and they just add that little bit of shimmer to the look. So I'm trying to do it in such a way because the lights are washing them out. And they do have darker shades so I haven't used those yet. I just like the everyday ones, you know, because they're the ones that I try it the most. And yeah, so apply them all over the eyelid and then I'll either pat them in, blend the edges and again, they stay put all day once I prime. They're fab. You have to get one of those pencil sharpeners, you know, with, like with the jumbo hole. Just... Listen, everybody needs a jumbo hole. <laughs> Next up is the No Cosmetics, what is it called? Smoky Eye Pencil in the shade Black. One end has the pencil, the other end has the little smudgy doodah. And especially with these. So what I would do is I would apply my bronzer into the crease, apply one of these all over the eyelid, and then I would take this and just ever so slightly just bring it along the lower lash line. And it's one of those, it's so soft, like look. So soft and creamy and pigmented. So I would even like dot it along the lash line and then use the other end to smudge it, or you can use your finger, or you can use a pencil brush, and it gives the most gorgeous smoky eye effect. Now, for Ashling's wedding a couple of months ago, I wore bronzer in the crease, and I wore one of the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize, and then I used this um, on the outer corner, and I kind of built up the smudginess, so I would apply a layer, smudge it, assess the situation, and then go back in a little bit more. And this stays for ages on the waterline as well, so good. Like that's what you want in a smoky eye pencil. Something that is gonna stay put for ages, that's really pigmented, that's not gonna drag along your eyelid because like, that's very delicate. So if you're on the hunt for something that's really creamy, smooth, pigmented, um, smoky, you have like a bit of play time, but once it sets, it sets. Totally worth checking out. And I have one more thing from No Cosmetics. This is the Rich Colour Lipsticks. Okay, one shade. <laughs> I was trying to remember which one. I wore one of these to Ashton's wedding in the evening. I wore red during the day and then I put one of these on in the evening. I can't remember which one. Now I know that you think that they look the same, but they're different. The cloak. Oh, they are so different actually. I thought it was just me. So different. So this is the shade, oh my God, what is the shade? Satin Silk. And then this is the shade Candy Nude. Now I have really dry lips at the best of times, so I need a lipstick that's gonna feel moisturizing. And I like doing this, and like having a bit of movement. And these are so creamy, so pigmented. Okay, so put, this is the satin silk one. Look at it, beautiful. And then this is the candy nude. I think I wore that one, Tashling's wedding. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. These are only 4 95 they're such good value. I don't remember how many shades are in this range, but you know me, I love the old nudie patooties. I do love matte lips, but I also love glossy lips, like, or moisturizing lips. Um, and they are one of the best that I've tried so far in my life. Speaking of matte, Um, this is the Elf Studio Matte Lip Color, and this is the shade Natural, and I do have the shade Tea Rose as well. I don't remember where that is. Um, but this is one of those little twisty uppy doodah things. It looks like one of those little crayons. They're so nice. Oh my God, the lights keep washing it out. Um, again, these don't feel drying on the lips at all. They're one of those shades and those formulas that you can apply, you know, when you're on the go or when you're like standing outside somewhere and you're like, or oh, I have to go in and meet somebody. Happy days. Again, I don't know how many shades these come in, but the fact that I have this one and the tea rose one and they are quite, quite similar, a little bit. Um, but because I love the formula so much, they're actually, I would go for the darker shades. Um, they don't dry out my lips. Like, there's no way you apply your matte liquid lip and then as the course of the morning goes on, you're like this. <laughs> you're like a little bum hole on your lips. <laughs> That's just stupid. Oh my God, what a tagline. Doesn't give you bum hole lips. <laughs> Why can't that just be normal? Anyway, those are great. They're in super drug, and I think they're in and around the seven, six or seven euro mark. I can't remember how much I paid for my one. Um, did I really just say bum hole lips? I did. 
Last but not least is the Flormar Precious Curl Mascara. It's so cute. Love the packaging. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's like a little bit teeny. I thought it was um, a travel version, but it's not. And inside you've got one of those Ben Diddy ones. So what I like to do is I'll take this part, like the curved part, and use that to apply the initial coat and then go, mm hmm And then I'll use that inside part again. Did I just get mascara on my scarf? No. Um, I use the inside part again on my lower lashes and then I'll use the top part, the that way bent way and um, to apply the second coat on the outer lashes and I'm left with really fluffy wispy curly lashes like my lashes to be like this and they're like oh I know and I don't curl my lashes like I never do the effort to life in the past whenever I've tried curling mascaras they curl my eyeballs, curl my eyeballs they curl my eyelashes for about an hour or so and then they just kind of like start to fade like a little bit. I want my eyelashes to look like this and they do with this all day yeah it doesn't clump doesn't smudge doesn't flake that's all I want in mascara and as well you see sometimes with curling mascara formulas they'll give you the curl but they don't give you an awful lot of anything else you know and I want everything if I'm going to be using a mascara I want the curl and the volume and the length and separation and everything and no smudging no flaking no nothing it's great brilliant so those are the bargains that I have for today 10 products under 10 euro and I hope I gave you like a little bit of inspiration you know and if you want to go shopping and spend a bit of money you're not going to feel guilty and be like why did I buy that <laughs> now you can be like yeah I bought it it was only a few bob it was like cheaper than a cup of coffee let me know what budget products you've been enjoying lately and um, leave me a comment below let me know so I can go shopping and then be like <laughs> this is like cheapest chips and it's for the blog anyway Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Please help me stop spending money.